in the end, it seemed like a pretty easy route for Newcastle United against Burnley. But this game did start with a degree of difficulty for Eddie Howe's players. And he certainly came under fire in those first 15 minutes. And Burnley, who know that they're pretty much on their way down unless something dramatic happens, they needed to win this one and they weren't able to uh, bring anything to the table, unfortunately for them. Uh, but once Newcastle started clicking through the gears, uh, they looked almost irresistible the way they were popping the ball about. And really, Eddie Howe will feel that his team are in exactly the right place at exactly the right time in the season. Um, the opening goal was a typical sort of goal for a, a team playing with confidence. Murphy putting the ball in, Isak forcing a save from the keeper, and Wilson, the man in form now with two and two games, knows there's an England place on the line for him. Um, he scores to make it 1 0. And then Newcastle after that, really, it was just almost cruise control, long staff sweeping home. A second goal, Bruno adding a third, and after the break, Newcastle even had could afford the luxury of missing a penalty um, and maintain that 3 0 lead before Isak finally got his goal to make it. 4-0 and Newcastle were cruising. We were wondering if it was going to be another 8-0 style route like it was at Sheffield United. But Burnley showed a bit of fight. Um, Richie Conceding the corner and then uh, O'Shea scoring a looping header. But look, Newcastle got a lot more goals in this game. Um, I'm not entirely sure if Eddie Howe was fully satisfied with things the way the game finished because Newcastle could have gone on and got an even bigger scoreline in this game, if we're honest. But they're nearly there. Obviously, they're looking over the shoulder. Chelsea are still in there. The Newcastle nearly there. They've got three games left. Uh, two away from home. Man United and Brentford, and then Brighton at home. So Newcastle win two of those games. Then they really are within touching distance of the Europa Conference League, at least potentially the Europa League.